In today's video, we take a look at a woman who proves that a guy can do virtually everything for a woman and she would still find a flaw in it, and this guy here who refuses to pay for his date's babysitter. Acting like he can't pay for my babysitter after he didn't promise and beg me. First of all, y'all, he didn't beg me to go on this date with him. Now he acting like uh, he, he can't pay five dollars. Because man, you, come on, because man. you, you, me, you want bro. more, huh? All I said you want was like, more, look, huh? all, look I, I know I was nice about it, but you took and ran somewhere else with it. Like, first of all, you offered the babysitter, baby. Yeah, you the one that offered, said that you want to take me out. But I thought she was gonna at least gonna do a little bit of something, y'all. You ain't trying to do nothing. What's a little real. bit of something, baby? Uh, we went man, out. You it ain't. You know that was a little bit of something. That was enough. If I'm taking this is our first date, baby. So let's look. Hey, man, it's 2023, man. We can make a lot of stuff pop. Y'all hear? I'm talking this some dude talking it. Nah, you oh, told no. me that you was paid you told me oh you a pay for dinner and my baby that's the only reason that i went out with you don't try to sit here oh and my play. god bro, no, he's you, trying to sit here and you play just, like bro i got you got to give me something though you okay. can't just be sitting there like, and I'm just doing everything. Like, I'm taking you I out. I gave you something. I gave you my time, baby. I'm, Yo, time. Like, what much, I need more like, than what that. Do you I need, need more than that. Uh -uh, what's, what's more than that? I mean, like, shoot, it sounds like went. he need a little something for yeah, $35. Yeah. I mean, dollars since you bringing it up. Like, you and some this, Outback. You, man, look, you, you got made it seem right like, now, you know. You, I'm talking about the whole day. He made it seem like he just said, like, you ain't even come out of full honey today. You ain't even come out of full honey today. You ain't even come out of full honey today. You ain't even come out of full honey today. And this, this both of our bills. I went with it. This bill. You don't want it some more. Both of our bills. It ain't even come out to a hundred dollars. Aw, man. So I'm not paying. And he act like he can't spend. I'm not paying Okay, why? Why though? No, because you could have told me that. Because you want That's what it was. Oh, my God. Just go ahead and say it. Just go ahead and say it. Let them know. He just want. He just. I just wanted to make sure. I had something out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm paying for this, I'm making sure you hear get this, my nails done. Y'all hear this like, nonsense that this man is talking? Yeah, right. I need something out of it. I'm not Your first fault was that you took a single mother out on a date. Secondly, you should not have been too nice to her because single mothers don't deserve nice behavior. They deserve to be left alone, and now you are reaping the rewards of your mistakes by getting mocked and ridiculed by the same woman. And then there is this woman here who says that her date should have paid for her valet after he paid for a three-course meal. So we're walking to valet, and valet's like, okay, will that be cash or card? And I'm like, card, okay? So the guy literally does not even attempt to take out his card or like reach in his pocket or anything. So literally the valet guy is like, well, somebody got to pay. So I end up um, reaching in my bag and paying for the valet because somebody gotta pay for it he don't like you for real sis <laughs> like that's what i got from it that's what i would have gotten from it if a guy didn't pay for my valet for the first day granted i don't want to throw the man under the bus she did say he bought a three-course meal he bought drinks he even bought her flowers he got 95 percent of the job right damn near hit a home run however if you are inviting me to a place where you know for a fact there is paid parking i'm a woman I'm on a date. I more than likely have on heels. You should be the one that's paying for my parking, period. Because we could have went out to the burb somewhere. You want to be downtown, live that life, but you don't want to pay for my parking. And we could have been out at Orland Park, Schaumburg, Oak Brook, hella free parking. No problem at all. Same exact restaurants. No problem at all. Ladies, is this a deal breaker? Is it a red flag? Man, is she tripping? Should she give him a second date? What's the issue? Who do you think you are? That a guy has to clear these stupid levels of expectations of yours just so you can bash him afterwards for any little mistake he might have done during the date? Get off of your high horse, or you would not even get a below average guy to settle down with, and then you would also ask the same question as this woman asks in this clip here. Yeah, hey, opinion, how y'all feel about this? So, this dude asked me to come to his crib, like, Imagine I've been in his crib multiple times, multiple times, and I kind of got came to my senses and I was just like, no, I don't want to come to your house anymore because like you only want to see me at your crib. You don't like we don't go out in public. We don't go on dates like you don't take me out. We don't do none of that. Like it's just I only see you when I see you at your house. Right. And I was just like, I'm good off that. Like, I don't want to keep doing that. Like, no. And I haven't heard from him since, since I told him no. My nigga. <laughs> like, have not heard from him since. So, like, my question of the day is, 
why do y'all always want people to come to y'all crib 24 7 why don't y'all take people out why don't y'all go on dates like and i'm not saying you gotta take the girl to ruth chris but shoot y'all can go look at the stars y'all can go to the movies y'all can go paint like it's the, a lot any man who is smart financially capable and understands the reality of the modern dating world knows that almost no woman is worth their money or their time and the reason for such assumptions is seen in this clip here so you girls know my channels about manipulating men, taking money from them, playing them. And a lot of comments say, do you ever feel bad? Do you ever think that karma is going to get to you? The simple answer is no, I don't care. I don't feel bad at all playing these men. No remorse, no feelings towards them at all. Every time I do a guy dirty, the only thing that goes through my head is, did I elevate? Am I in a better position than I was yesterday? Am I happy? And if all those answers are yes, then I did amazing. I could care less about how these guys feel. If their heart's broken on because of me, that's something they need to personally deal with. That's their fault for getting their hopes up. So I'm a divorced mom of two, and I have them week on, week off. And sometimes it's really sad. I miss them a lot, and I'm used to seeing them every single day. Last time they were with their dads, I was like super depressed. And I don't miss being married, but I miss being able to see them every day. But I was just laying here thinking how much better divorce life is. For one, I don't have to have sex if I don't want to. But if I want to, men are easy. You can have sex any night you wanted to have sex. I'm forced to take time for myself, which means that I haven't lost my identity in being a mom which since my identity isn't tied to being a mom, I'm not as invested in who my kids are. And I mean that by they are allowed to be whoever they want to be, and I get to love them where they are, instead of me having expectations and then them trying to be that person. Five Star Steakhouses used to be a special event thing. Now they're a normal date night. And some guys even think I'm funny. Just wait a few more years and then you would enjoy this divorce life even more. Cause by going on on more dates, meeting more men, getting ran through by the same men and ultimately losing your value, while being alone and miserable is what waiting for you. So please enjoy this divorce life as long as you can. Cause sooner or later you are going to regret it. Realness. In 2022, why are men on dating apps that don't have intentions on taking women on dates? When did you think it was okay? to ask me to go Dutch, like you from Europe or something. You ain't from the Netherlands, you from right here in Los Angeles. So you know what's up. If you're in a dating app, that means you're going on a date. That means that you're asking a girl to take her somewhere to get to know her. Why are we playing dumb? I don't even understand why we're playing dumb. Are you broke? Yes, nine times out of 10 you are broke, which means that no vagina for you. Because women are looking to date with intention, which means I'm dating you with intentions of you being my boyfriend. You are now being interviewed for my husband and I'm looking for the qualities in a husband that will be able to take care of a family. So if you can't even afford a cup of coffee, yo, Stay in your lane and don't match with me. You saw my pictures, you saw the quality. I mean, I look just like my pictures. And on top of that, I got Getty images as my profile pics. Getty images, I'm about that life. You know what life that is, that's not the life you live because clearly you're a bum. Don't date if you can't afford to date. Let that be the motivation to drive for you to make something of yourself so you can actually have some money to take a girl out on a $60 date.